Hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Dave. I'm a data scientist and in this video I'm going to show you how to install Python on macOS. Now Python is an amazing language if you want to start with data science, but you can also use it to build websites, software and automate tasks. We are going to install Python in three steps. Download, installation, validation. But before we start, I want to quickly show you that Python 2 is already installed on your Mac and explain why you don't want to use it. Let's open up Spotlight by hitting command space, type in terminal, hit enter. This will open up a terminal window for you and what we can now do is we can type in Python and hit enter again. As you can see, Python 2 is now running in the terminal. This is working because macOS comes with Python 2.7 pre-installed by Apple. However, we don't want to use Python 2 because it's outdated. Python 3 is the current standard. Now there are a few common ways to install Python 3. With the official installer, with Homebrew or with Anaconda. In this video, I'll show you how to install Python 3 with the official installer. I'll have links to the other methods in this video. Now the first step is to go to python.org slash downloads. As you can see, there's already a direct download link with the latest version for macOS. Now all we have to do is click the download button and our download will start. So I'll save it to my download folder. After clicking on the download, the installer will open. I will now just press continue and continue again and continue again. Agree to the license, check that you have enough space on your disk available and hit continue. I would recommend to install it under the default location and now finally hit install. It will then ask you for your password and once you've entered your password and hit enter, the software will install. Once the installation is complete, a new finder window will open showing you where Python 3 is installed. You can close out the installer. So now let's validate the installation. So we'll open up another terminal, do command space to open up spotlight, type in terminal. What we can now do is type in Python 3. And as you can see, we are now running Python 3.10 in the terminal. And we can use this to run any kind of Python code. So for example, I'll do a print statement here. I've just installed Python 3. Awesome. Okay, so that was the validation part. You've now successfully installed Python. Okay, so there are a few quick points I want to touch on because I remembered when I started out with Python, these things really confused me. The first one being Python paths and the second one being how to actually run Python codes using scripts instead of just in a terminal. So let's briefly talk about Python paths. There's this command in the terminal that is which and if we follow that by Python, the system will tell us where Python is installed. When we are running Python from the terminal and using the command Python, it's basically a shortcut to somewhere on your system where the actual Python file is located. So here you can see that just running Python actually links to this path right over here. So what I just did is I opened up a finder and navigated to the path that was shown in the terminal. And what you can see here is that this file over here is the file that we're referring to when we're running Python from the terminal. So running Python in the terminal is nothing more than a shortcut to this file on your system in order to execute Python 2. Now we can actually do the same thing for Python 3. So what you can see here is that the command Python 3 is referring to this file over here. So that is basically what I quickly wanted to show you about Python and paths. So you now know where the installations are located and what you are doing by running those commands in the terminal. Now the second point that I quickly want to touch on is how to actually run Python code using scripts. Because it's cool that we can run Python here in the terminal, but it's not very practical. See, we can run Python here and start typing the commands here, but there's no actual way of saving our code and creating anything useful. So this is just the test that Python is working. But now the next step is to install a so-called IDE integrated development environment, which is just a fancy name for a program to write scripts in. Now I like to use Visual Code Studio for writing and testing Python scripts, but there are many more applications out there. Other popular ones are Sublime, Spider, Jupyter Notebooks or PyCharm. Here I'll just give a quick demo of how to run Python code in Visual Code Studio, but this should be similar for any other application. So I have a Python file here. We have the same print statement that we used earlier, but now we have it in a Python file. And what we can do here is go to the top and say run Python code. And as you can see, we have the same output that we've had before in the terminal, but now we're working in an actual Python file that we can save. So those are two tips that I want to give you before diving into Python, because I know they really confused me in the beginning. All right, so now you're all good to go and it's time to start coding. Now, if this video helped you, I would really appreciate it if you hit thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel. I'll be uploading more videos related to Python, machine learning and data science. So if that's something you're interested in, you should definitely subscribe. See you next time.